So if this is a non-weight bearing, you're going to bend it between 35 and 45 degrees. Try to get all the way to the greater trope. Pad higher than your plaster is going to go. I pad all as high as I can get it. together, you can't have any overlap. You can't have any webral on the, on the cast portion. You couldn't do something like this. Because it will just stop it from bonding. You're going to have a hard, hard enough time getting it to bond anyhow. Sometimes I, I'll just go straight posterior. This one here, I'm going to go uh, posterior. Why would you go to the side versus posterior? Side's stronger. So we'll just do the whole thing. In one piece? Yeah, if it's a, most of the time if I can, if it's a uh, child. Normally when you get to adults, I don't. Normally I will mix them together. So you must start, if you're going to piece them together like this, you must do at least the length, the width of the plaster. You must start at least, since it's a six inch, six inches below. And over wrap before you work your way up. Yep. 
spend a little bit of time around the knee because that's a weak spot. Always lining up second toe, mid patella, ASIS, ASIS, mid patella, second toe. Those are your landmarks that you're really trying to hit. Rich and dressing. 